AM 630. W- 807 on WML, where Washington comes to talk. Brian Wilson, Brian Neiman here with you this morning. We're joined on the phone line by Dinesh D'Souza, a man who has uh, written a couple of conservative books about Barack Obama, host of a new documentary called Obama's America 2016. Mr. D'Souza, thanks for joining us here on WML. Hey, it's uh, good to be on the show. All right, so let me let me talk. You, you have this tagline in the documentary. It says, love him, hate him. You don't know him. Tell me about this documentary and what the purpose of it is. Sure. Uh, Barack Obama is probably the most unknown guy to come into the White House. And even now, four years later, there are a lot of um, mysteries about him that have remained unanswered. Uh, For example, um, nobody knows what his grades were in college. Uh, Nobody knows what his SAT score was to get into college. Nobody knows what he wrote his thesis on. No one knows who his friends were at Columbia University. Uh, He he says he had a series of girlfriends. None of them have ever come forward. Their their names haven't been reported or they haven't been interviewed by journalists. Now, these are the personal mysteries around Obama, but there's also an ideological mystery, which is uh, what is this guy's inner compass? Uh, what is his ideology? Where does he want to take America? And this question is obviously particularly important because he's running for re-election. So the reason our film is called 2016, Obama's America, is we're asking what would America look like in 2016 if Obama gets a second term. And of course, uh, it's been talked about much that you uh, actually interviewed uh, uh, President Obama's half-brother. Tell us about that. Well, I mean, I interviewed uh, people, lots of people who knew his mom, who knew his dad, who knew young Obama. The the film is shot in Hawaii, uh, Indonesia, India, Chicago, New York, Kenya. Uh, So it is a film that sort of brings to light Obama's world in a way that hasn't really been done before. So there are little tidbits about my interview with George Obama, the president's half-brother, that are sort of out there. Uh, but there's a lot more in the film. And we're talking with Dinesh D'Souza, who has a new movie out called uh, "The Obama's America 2016. Now, you also wrote a book in 2010, uh, The Roots of Obama's Rage, which was about the president's father and how a lot of his, his the way he sees the world is shaped through his father. Um, but you did get into a lot of questions about Barack Obama that we don't know the answers to. Did you find any of those answers about his grades or his upbringing and, you know, who had the influence on his life outside of his father? Well, we focused on the ideological mystery of Obama. And, for example, when you mention his half-brother, here's an interesting mystery. You know, George Obama is... um, uh, the youngest son of Barack Obama Sr., so he's uh, the president's half-brother. Well, he's living in a uh, six-by-ten hut in the Haruma slum of Nairobi. Now, this is odd, not only because President Obama is the most powerful man in the world, not just because he's a multimillionaire and could easily help his brother uh, with so little effort, uh, it's also odd because President Obama has been saying now for four years uh, on um, on his, in his speeches that we are our brother's keeper. Right. That's one of the president's favorite lines, that we owe uh, obligations to the less fortunate. Well, here's Obama's real brother, uh, and he's living not just in American-style poverty, but in third-world poverty, and the president won't lift a finger to help him. Do they, have it, do they have any relationship whatsoever? Well, they've met a couple of times, and, and actually the thing about Obama is that he makes these commitments that he doesn't keep. Uh, one of his aunts also, by the way, I should tell you, his father's sister is uh, selling coal as we speak on the streets of Nairobi. Dirty a coal? Of dollars a day. <laughs> She's not selling windmills? She's still selling dirty oh, coal? Oh, right. I, I know. I know. You, what about the impact <laughs> on the environment? Right. didn't even think about that one. <laughs> all right. So, all right. I have to ask you, because this has been out there for quite some time, there are some people who don't believe that President Obama Obama was necessarily born in Hawaii. Did you find anything in your journey of his past that suggests that he was not born in Hawaii? Well, I'll give you two indications that I think he was born in Hawaii. The first is that when, in August 4th, 1961, that's the date of Obama's birth, 
uh, in the Kapiolani Medical Center in Honolulu, there were notices of his birth in two local newspapers, the Honolulu Advertiser being one of them. Now, look, I mean, it, there'd have to be a conspiracy going back 50 years uh, for, for this to be uh, a sham. The other thing is Barack Obama Sr., the dad, when he came to America, was completely broke. He had no money. He had to sweet-talk two missionary women into raising the money for him to come. So when he gets here and impregnates Anne and they have young Obama, they're not going to have the cash to fly back to Kenya, have the kid, bring all three, come back here. So to me, circumstantially, it makes no sense. So I think Obama was born in America, but has adopted, if you will, a third world ideology. So what is the most interesting thing that you found in your investigation? What is the thing that you said, that is something that I didn't expect to see? Well, let me put it this way, because it's something you'd have to see the film to see why I'm about to say what I'm saying, and that is that um, uh, we think we're having a policy debate in the United States between liberals and conservatives who agree about the goals but disagree about the means. So we think we're debating, like, we all agree America should be strong, America should be prosperous, America should remain number one in the world. We're just debating, like, how to get there. But I think when you see this film, you will see evidence, proof, that Barack Obama is outside this tradition. He actually has a completely different goal for America. And quite specifically, he wants to shrink America. He wants to shrink America's influence in the world. He even wants to shrink the American economy. Now, he's not doing this because he hates America or because he's evil or because he's a, a traitor or a Manchurian candidate. No, none of that. But he subscribes to an ideology, a point of view, that thinks it is good for America to have less influence in the world, and the film will tell you how and why. Dinesh D'Souza is our guest. He's got this movie coming out called Obama's America 2016. Debuts July 27th in Houston, followed by a limited national release. And my question is, Michael Moore's movies weren't limited national release. Are you having trouble getting it out there? Well, my, yeah, Michael Moore had a big Hollywood studio behind him. Uh, our film has opened, it's in four theaters right now in Houston, and it's the number one movie in America. It's actually, per theater, we're outselling Batman. Uh, but what I'm saying is we are gradually going to scale up through the month of August. So we go to uh, four markets this Friday, 40 markets the following Friday. So by the end of August, we should be all over the country. So that we're doing what's called a platform release, so we have the advertising dollars to support the movie as it opens in uh. particular markets. Is this an attack on the president, or, or is this trying to just illustrate where he's from? And do you think Democrats would get anything out of this movie? I think, uh, I think whatever your politics, you'll walk out of this movie saying, wow, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here about Obama that I didn't know. Um, the point of the movie is not to uh, say, don't vote for Obama. Rather, you know, I'm the president of a college, you know, the King's College in New York City. Uh, and the film is kind of a journey. It's sort of like, let's go on a journey to find Obama. And inside the film, Obama goes on a journey to find himself. So it's more of a movie discover the real Obama than it is why you shouldn't vote for Obama. All right. Dinesh D'Souza, thank you so much for joining us here on WMAM. Well, I got a little crumbled there at the end, yeah. but that was a fascinating interview. Very I interesting. I want to see that movie, don't you? Yeah, want to see I'm that movie? I'm definitely going to go see it, no doubt.